Jake Overgaard, University of Minnesota Extension Educator, and I'm here today to talk to you about our What's Wrong With My Plant tool. It's a really great uh, tool to help uh, farmers and gardeners diagnose uh, disease issues in uh, mostly vegetables and fruits, but there's also options to look at things like turf and trees and some annuals and, and perennials as well. Um, so I'm just going to take you through a quick example of looking at a tomato disease and uh, you can dig in from there. So hope this is helpful. Thanks. All right, so let's say I'm a tomato grower and I've been having some issues with uh, my plants. I'm noticing some uh, dark spots on my leaves, as you see here, and I've got some uh, sunken spots or you might say lesions that are really dark in color on the fruit and really I, I, I can't sell these tomatoes and so I'm pretty concerned about what's going on. So I need to figure out what's wrong with my plant. So we'll go to the tool. All right, so I've navigated to the what's wrong with my plant tool. It's just within a uh, regular web browser on the UMN extension website. Um, and you can see there's a lot of different options for uh, crops or plants to look at. So there's vegetables, fruit, uh, turf section, deciduous trees, evergreens, annuals, and perennials. So tons of different things that uh, can really help you out. Uh, but we're talking about a tomato in this case. And so we're going to click on vegetables. And we're under the solanaceous crops. Got our tomatoes. And then... We need to choose a symptom to look at. Um, so let's look at the leaf issue that we're having. And so we've got uh, spots on leaves. We'll take that one. <clears throat> now we get to the photo section. And so uh, this is really quite handy. You can just click on the photos, look through them, and, and see if that's what it is. Um, so this first one, that's flea beetles. Uh, looks quite different. Um, septoria leaf spot, also uh, not what we're looking at in our particular case. Um, next one is early blight. And so this one looks pretty similar. It's got these dark spots. Um, they kind of have these rings, concentric rings on them. Um, so that's, that's looking promising. Now if we look at our fruit, uh, it also has that, that same issue that we're seeing on, in our other sample. Uh, this sunken area that's uh, very dark in color. Um, this one might be a little bit more advanced than the one that, that we have. So that's looking uh, like it might be early light. But we'll keep looking through the other options, checking out some photos. This is bacterial spec. That's not it. Uh, bacterial spot. Nor is it that. Uh, late blight. Looks quite different. And the last one that they list is the Bersillium wilt, and I'm um, going to say no to that as well. So I am looking at early blight. Um, it also has some information off to the side, which just uh, has a little bit more details on the disease that you can look at, uh, description, but also uh, when it might occur. So here it says that it occurs in warm, wet weather, uh, common at the end of summer. So I can click on the link for more information, and then I can find uh, information on the symptoms, um, the disease cycle, and then some tips on management. So if I'm at a point where uh, treatment is still an option, I can uh, read this and, and find out what to do. Um, it could be that uh, I'm past the point, and I need to be thinking about uh, my next planting, and so it, it may have some good tips on uh, planting and rotation and, and that kind of thing too. So um, be looking for that. I think this tool could be also really useful if you're um, thinking about growing a particular crop. So maybe I want to grow tomatoes and it's my first time. I could look through the the diseases that are common to to that crop and get some ideas on how I might prevent them uh, using some cultural controls. You know, maybe I need to be looking at um, uh, resistant varieties or uh, really being particular about the way that I plant it so that there's good air movement or how I water them. Um, so it could be kind of a proactive uh, tool as well. Um, 
So like I said, there's a, a ton of information here and uh, really quite uh, navigable and, and helpful. Um, you know, if we just dive in a little bit into the fruit section, look at apples, uh, say spots on leaves, you can see you know, it's, it's similar for, for apples as well. You know, looking at photos, seeing what they look like, and trying to come down on the diagnosis. All right, so that is what's wrong with my plant. I think it's uh, pretty easy to get into, pretty easy to use, and um, really quite effective. So uh, make use of it. Thanks.